Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you are having a wonderful morning. It is a gorgeous morning here. It is lovely, a little chilly, but it is warmer today than it was yesterday. So, you know, every day we moving up. We moving, okay. But today, guys, listen, I want to talk to you all about this. Yeah, oranges and oil. Woohoo! And if you are not subscribed to the channel, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Yes, and please hit the thumbs up. It will help me. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. So on yesterday's video, I was watching my video as I edited it, and I saw a lot of bugs bites over here. Yeah, like this one right here. I'm like, oh, didn't pay attention to that earlier. But in the process of editing, you could really take a look at your 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 vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I come out here every morning and check on these uh, plants, but sometimes you do miss stuff. But in the editing form, you really could see what's going on. But this is the basket, right? A lot of, of my greens that have been chewed on, got some holes in them. So today, guys, I'm going to put a stop to this foolishness. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put a stop to this foolishness today. So, um, I have uh, published uh, many videos on the oils that I make to control insects in my garden. Now, do I love the bugs? I do. I do. Because, uh, yeah, you have to really look at the big picture when it comes to pests and bugs and how they really play a huge part in our garden and they really do but that's another video <laughs> okay <laughs> so today we gonna stop these all right so i make this oil from either lemon zest or orange zest and just regular oil any kind of oil cooking oil, canola oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, any oil you like, you can make this oil for your plants. And I allow it to sit in, put the orange peels, like today, this is orange peels. And the great thing is, is that I receive these oranges for free, for free, <laughs> from my neighbor's yard. And all of the oranges that falls in my garden, mm -hmm, they're mine. <laughs> so I just peel them and put the orange peel in the oil. Put it in my shelf, in the dark shelf. And um, I let it stay there for 30 days and you have orange oil i'll show you how to use it all right i'll show you how i use it all right guys let's get ready but what i'm gonna do is also and this is so important is that you do not you do not want to spray this oil on your vegetables until the late evening now you know i know some people say you could do it early in the morning or you could spray all oils late in the evening i my preference is late in the evening because they have all night to soak in this oil and this oil will not cook your vegetables but if you spray this oil on your vegetables during the heat of the day, they will cook your vegetables, okay? So, it's just, it's just a tip for you. Spray only in the evenings when the sun have done her thing. 
okay only all right guys I will show you how I make spray to control insects on my vegetables also this is my uh, rutabagas yeah here's my rutabagas I'm sorry about this sun may get in the way okay there they are and oh she's so cute down there but you see that mm -hmm. somebody been eating on these greens so we're gonna spray her Oh yeah, we will spray her today. Well, sometimes you get confused with the shaping of the leaf because like this, that is just the shape of that leaf, but mm -hmm, that's not the shape of the leaf. <laughs> that's not the shape of the leaf. So yeah, we're gonna spray here. So here are many of my kohlrabis in containers, and they're looking good. There is, there is no bug bites over here, um, so they're looking good. I'm going to spray them anyway like that. Just some small bites, but yeah, we're going to get it. You want to be sprayed? <laughs> and here, yeah, so we're going to spray them. Um, we're gonna get them together today. So this is how I make orange oils. And this is just to, um, not necessarily kill insects in my garden, but what it does is it stops the insects from their everyday routine. Oh boy, that's too much. <laughs> like, it stops them from crawling, flying, mating, and then they die. Mm -hmm. So, this is not the kind of spray that you're going to see, like, a thousand dead bugs laying all over it. Uh, in your container or in your garden bed. This is not how it's, this works. It's a process. And as I said, it just stops them from their regular everyday routine. And when they cannot no longer fly or crawl or mate or eat. Yep. Now, I use this on for aphids, uh, cabbage loopers, we can see that yeah so you just slice it you want to try to really take most of the zest instead of the white but you know what it won't hurt <laughs> and this is just some Crisco oil now as I said you could use canola oil peanut oil um, olive oil any oil you like any oil and just put it in Fill your little jar up. Let's see, where's my lid? Okay, here's my lid. And listen, guys, no need of boiling, sanitizing, and no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Just fill it up. And there is your orange oil. Then you take this and you put it in your cabinet for about. 30 days, you know, just every day, you go in there and shake it up one time, turn it upside down, put it back. 30 days, when you open this, this oil will smell just like orange. Now, I'm gonna show you how to put it in your sprayer, okay? Also guys, I want to share this too. So last year, yeah, this is marigolds. This is marigolds. So I made this last year. I've never used it, never used it yet. But, you know, I was thinking because all the, that's my coffee pot, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> because of 
all of the beautiful properties they have in Marigolds for our garden. Yeah, why not try it in oil? So this season, I will be trying this baby out on one sacrifice plant. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, okay. So this is basil and oil. It's just basil and oil. Now I love basil. So my favorite way to use basil in my kitchen is to use it in any kind of red sauce mix like spaghettis, lasagnas, and all this other good stuff. Meatballs. I made this um, basil oil. I just put basil in here and oil, let it set for 30 days, and I use it in my cooking of my meatballs and meatloaf. Listen guys, if you love the taste of basil in your red sauce or in your food, this is amazing. So I made this jar, I made a big quart. The quart is gone and uh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I got more basil growing because I need to make more basil oil. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have some dried basil, but I like to put... Um, I want it fresh in here. Yeah. But just try it. You will love it. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the things you would like to know this is that when you spray this orange oil on your vegetables that late in the evening, that morning, your garden will be glowing. And the sweet smell of oranges will just uh, have your garden smelling delicious and beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I kind of changed the pace from that 511, y'all. <laughs> but you will love this. And listen, guys, it, it really doesn't cost anything because the the lemon and the orange zest that we use, we usually throw it away. Put it in a jar, all right? So this will be breakfast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is how I um, mixed my oil and water for get rid of these insects on my plant. So here's my 32 ounce bottle and spray. I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put the water first. Mostly if you put dishwashing liquid in first, you're going to have a, a bottle full of suds and that's not good y'all. So add the water first. I'll show you about the dishwashing liquid. <laughs> See what we got here. Ah, that girl is good. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> All right. So now this is the oil I did months ago, y'all. Months ago. There it is. Oh yeah. It smells like oranges. Oranges. So. This is just a regular teaspoon, so I'm gonna use one teaspoon and a half. Yeah, you know. And that's all of that you need. So, like a jar will last me sometimes two, two seasons, three seasons. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. And just a teaspoon of dishwashing like any kind it, listen any kind you like if you want to get mrs myers that's fine um whatever whatever dishwashing liquid you like so i just put that in here and the most important thing you want to do is 
spray the back of those leaves. That's where they live, y'all. And not only that's where the, uh, the bugs live, but I'll show you something, okay? So I'm trying to get really low because I noticed the sun is, is here. <laughs> All right, so here's the plant and here's the back of the plant, the, the leaves. So you see all of this, those are the lifelines to this plant. It's like our veins, you know? So what you wanna do is make sure all of this get wet with your oil and water. So if a, pl if a bug eats it, it don't taste good. And yeah, it stops them from their everyday activities. Yeah. So I will not spray right now because it is about 9.30 in the morning. But when I spray this evening, I'm gonna bring you guys with me, okay? Cause I'm gonna spray this little basket. I'm gonna spray her up good. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna see you guys at about 5 36 o'clock. Alright. Alright, guys, it is now 5 p.m. Yay. So here is my oil that I made earlier this morning. Just gonna give it a good shake. And I may have to stay in this tripod up, so give me a second. All right. So now I'm just going to spray these babies, and I will share with you what they look like in the morning. So I'm going to hit these back, the back of these leaves really good. And this oil is not going to hurt them at all. Not at all. It's going to be wonderful. They're going to be looking beautiful, shining. <laughs> yeah, man. And I would do like every other day for three days, three days, every other day and I will spray them and by that third day I would not need to spray them anymore and we will see we will see together even though I know I want you to know <laughs> yeah I want you to know too so I'm really getting good in here Ooh, this pump bottle ain't nothing nice, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it'll work you, I tell you. It'll work you. So, it also get rid of aphids, but I don't see any aphids so far. So far. So good. Because they'll pop up on you in this humid weather. I believe if you stand still long enough, they'll pop up on you. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> but I hope you all, I hope your day was good today. I did get a lot done in the garden. Whew, I need a break, y'all. <laughs> I did get a lot done in the garden uh, today. Um, I cleaned a lot of that, um, yeah. Ooh, the bulb, the, where I'm going to plant my bulbs, flowers. Yeah, and I chopped down those, um, canna lilies over there in the bulb bed. Yeah, I cut them down, y'all. Cut them down. Me and that little 24 cent shovel, we had it going on over there. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all of me, y'all. Everybody a good shot of this. And the first thing in the morning, I will bring you guys out here with me so you can check. Alright. Let me 
give you an overview of how wet they are. Cause that's how much I used. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, so I used that much. All right. So that's the way she looked now. Yeah, it smells good, y'all. Smells good. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want to thank you all for stopping by, hanging out with me today. It was a busy day, but it was a gorgeous day. Yes, I hope you had a wonderful day also. All right, guys. See y'all tomorrow. Lady Rose.